Right, morning everyone. Uh, so I'm just hiking out of Dick's Creek Gap up towards North Carolina border. Uh, stayed at top of Georgia Hostel last night. Uh, I'm going uphill. Sucks. That's the name of the game. Listen. Fucking nothing. Hey, so this is Plum Orchard Gap. Uh, this is where I was planning on stopping uh, before I came across Top of Georgia Hostel. Uh, so I just did four and a half miles there in about an hour and a half. The train was pretty easy, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, it's another four and a half miles now up until the border, and it's all uphill, pretty much. Uh, so I push on to that, and then Muskrat, I think it's what's called Shelter, is like three miles after that then. Uh, so I'll probably stop there. That'll put me at about 12 miles for the day. Uh, I'll see how I feel, but. The boys is good, good enough for me. Uh, but yeah, I'll check in at the border. Alright, here we are at the border between Georgia and North Carolina. It's uh, one down, 13 more to go, I guess. Alright, morning everyone. Uh, so I'm doing this on my phone because my GoPro died last night. Um, just even Muskrat Shelter now. Again, another, another lovely name. Uh, even for Carter's Gap today, which is 12 and a half miles. Um, Hitting a few mountains in between then, down there. Tomorrow should be hitting the 100 mile mark, all going well. And the day after that, uh, I can try and get transport into Franklin and get my first zero, zero there. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, we'll see, see how we go between now and then. Uh, hopefully, hit the mileage I need. It should be fine, hopefully. Um, yeah, let's see where we go. I suppose I should explain some of the terminology I use for those who aren't too familiar with AT. Goes back home in Ireland, of course. Uh, so when I to say zero, that means a day where I do zero miles on the trail. Uh, also a thing called a Nero, which is where I maybe do a couple of miles and then spend the night in the town. So that's what I did in Hiawassee. Uh, who else is there? So I say I'm going Nobo. That means I'm going northbound on the trail. Sobo, southbound. I'm going north northbound, obviously. Takatadon, which is the end point in Maine. Springer is the start point in Georgia. Uh, when I say a shelter, there's multiple shelters along the way. Probably like every five, eight miles of shelter or something like that. It depends. Uh, what else? If I say vitamin I, I'm talking about ibuprofen, which can be very helpful out here, especially on a long day. Uh, if you see, if I talk about a white blaze, that's the marking on the trees that signpost the trail. Uh, Blue Blaze is one that uh, leads to a water stream. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of other ones. If I think of them, I'll let you know. But for now, they're the main ones. Uh, I'll explain them as I go along. Good luck. Alright, just 
So we're now in deep gap. Uh, starting starting Indian Mountain. Uh, got some trail magic. So thank you for that. Uh, this is the biggest climb today. 1100 feet elevation again, I think. Uh, and then it's be about five or six miles after that to Castle Gap. So yeah, all good so far. The weather wasn't too hot, but it's not wet. So it's all good. So I'm about three quarters of the way up, standing Indian. And you can see all this uh, charred branches and trees. Apparently there was a forest fire big one around two years ago and yeah you can see remnant still uh, yeah right so I'm sitting on top of Stunning Indian it's a metaphor for western imperialism there somewhere I guess uh, it's actually surprisingly easy. I think because the trail was pretty well maintained, it's pretty easy to way up. There's no the trail yesterday was rocks and roots and stones and all this stuff. And uh, today yeah, it was clean sailing really. Uh, but yeah, it's worth the view. Sour Patch Kids. Next time I'm going to pick two packets. So I was just uh, filling up my water at this creek here. And I had my bag resting down here. And while I was collecting water, it fell in. I got there quick enough though, so I just uh, left shoulder strap is a bit wet. But uh, it's a good. Uh, Good lesson. Make sure your bag is secure. Morning. So just leaving Carver Gap there. Uh, it was pissing rain last night. Wasn't too cold though. But this morning it's absolutely freezing. Uh, packed everything up in five minutes. And just wanted to get moving straight away to get warm. See now it's uh, on misty, but uh, the sun's coming out now, uh, so hopefully it should warm up a bit. Uh, going to pass the 100 mile mark today. Uh, DAT is all about these random insignificant mini goals. First of all, the Neil Gap, Neil the Gap, then the North Carolina border, then the 100 mile mark, then Franklin, then MC, all the stuff. It's kind of kind of treadmill where you're, you look at the time, get 10 minutes, you look at the calories, okay, get the 100 calories, then look at the distance, okay, get the 5 kilometers, that kind of stuff. So can't you just uh, readjust your goal as you pass your previously stated goal? Uh, so yeah, 101 mark today, and then maybe Franklin tomorrow, probably. We'll see. I bet you there's a great view there. Oh well.
That's more like it. Gap, taking a quick break. It's about a quarter way up, third way up, maybe uh, Albert Mountain, uh, which is the only big climb I have today. Uh, at the top of the mountain is the 100 mile mark. Actually, technically, I think it's like 99.7, but there's a big fire tower up there, so everyone just says that's the 100 mile mark because it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's warmed up now cold uh, so delaying in a few minutes that's it can't see it much but there's the fire tower that's where I'm heading <laughs> All right, uh, just climbing down Albert Mountain now. Uh, I was up at the fire tower, just top had a rest day for a little bit. And the climb up was probably the roughest bit of trail I've come across so far. Uh, didn't take any photos unfortunately, but uh, yeah, it was tough. It was just rock and straight up. Uh, but uh, it's a good way to mark 100 mile, you know. Uh, so pushing on now to uh, Rock Gap, I think, as it was. Mostly downhill, so it should be okay. Uh, yeah, that's the plan for today. Right, good morning. Uh, just left Rock Gap there. Heading to Warning Stair, it's only 3.9 miles from here, then heading to Franklin, North Carolina for a Nero and a Zero. Uh, it was freezing cold last night, but uh, in the sun now, so it's not too bad. Alright, talk to you in a bit. <laughs> 